Hi, I'm Alex, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about the Remarkable 2 and version 2.6 of their software. Most importantly, how PDF navigation links work in the new version of the software. So you know you're a geek when somebody emails you a question, in this case, Michael Voigt's, and I apologise if I've got his name wrong, asking how PDF links work in complex calendars. And I went back and said, I'm not really sure. I knew that there'd been some updates in version 2.6 of the software. So I asked him to send me an example, and he did. So I tried this out on the Remarkable 2, and everything started to make sense in terms of what Remarkable had done with this software adjustment. So basically, before this, PDF links hadn't worked on the Remarkable 2. I'm gonna jump in now to show you what they do with the new software update. So I'm not associated with this calendar in any way, but I have used a calendar on the Remarkable 2 for quite a while. And what hasn't worked before is any PDF links. So you can see this is a front page of a PDF calendar. And what's changed here, if we click on, for example, 2021, it goes to the full screen calendar. Now in this example, things are a little bit small. So what's important is you, the, using the pinch to zoom feature, we can see here that in March, for example, we've got all the dates in March. And then we can actually click on say the 11th of March and it pulls up the full calendar date for 11th of March. This is an over a 500 page document and it makes it so usable on a sort of day-to-day -day basis. You can zoom in, you can write your day there. I mean, it's not far off sort of tablet level. Now, a little bit of a rendering slowly there. Now here on the right, you've got, move here, moving quite quickly. So from a practical perspective, you don't actually need to move because you can see, I can see here that, for example, if we click on the month there, We've got the whole of March there. We can look on another month there. And you can see here, we can just get through this whole 500 page document. Uh, here, we're clicking on the yearly goals and we can just get round this whole document nicely and easily. So from a practical perspective, click on home, hit well, on 2021. The home button is here and we can get back to home. So I think for a lot of people, this will make a 500 page document really, really usable and I'm very excited. So before I leave this example, you might actually want to see how it writes itself. Now what's really interesting, you can see here, if you click with the pen, it marks, but doesn't write, which I think is really useful. So if we click on any date here, go back to March and say, you might want to just say, let's say you've got an appointment at 12 o'clock, so you go, and let it run for a second, test, another appointment here, test, zooming out so very nice and easy to write on which as this is the remarkable tablet primarily a writing device showing you that it works in terms of writing absolutely fine seems quite useful as well i hope that video has been of use and if it has i'll leave a link around me now to another video i did with version 2.6 of the software using pinch to zoom and how that works until next time i've been alex thanks for watching